Hi, my name is Cream Rounds and this is You Better F and Read, a brief visual book review. Excited. it. Okay. Like literally two hours ago, an hour ago, I just finished this book. <sighs> Y'all, I needed it, okay? You know when you're on the path of self-discovery as a black woman, you, you run into the greats, the goats. You get your soul snatched by bluest eye. You get your soul snatched by their eyes are watching God. You read some Audre Lorde. You read some Alice Walker. And then it just kind of gets repetitive. Okay? And then what's even adding to that is that people are starting to get these platforms online. And it's just a disaster. A shit show, if you will. Like, you know, I'm going to walk away. Okay? I'm going to read some sci-fi. It's where I found N.K. Jemisin. And I'll come back when there's something worth reading again. And we found it. We found it! Um, because Brittany Cooper wrote Elegant Roy. Because Brittany Cooper wrote Elegant. Brittany Cooper wrote Eloquent Rage. And it's everything I needed. It's all the new ones I needed. It's all of the subjects that I needed. All those hotep niggas that you be arguing with on Facebook. Your daddy, she's got it all laid out. <sighs> Read you what I highlighted. Because last month, you missed out. I told y'all, but last month, the ebook was only $2.99. So I've got it on ebook. Let me tell you some of the stuff she was saying. And what that trip to learn about our heritage had taught us was that our story bound us together and didn't allow us the privilege of building friendships based on shared affinity and personality alone. Black girls had to stick together. Y'all ain't never been in a relationship with a black girl just because she was black and there were no other black girls and she was low-key toxic as fuck? Just me? Couldn't be. Couldn't be. Rather than being reactionary and defensive, perhaps straight women need to become less invested in the project of straightness altogether. They cool, just don't bring it around me. It's fine, I just don't want to see it. That shit. If black women don't figure out how to love other black women, cis and trans, queer and straight, and everything in between, it will be the death of us. I'm asking us to sit with the mean girl tendencies we all have, with the ways that we hurt each other and don't show up for each other. Can you just at me next time and I don't need any sneak diss? Thanks. Because black feminism is not a reactionary project. It's not about the damage that white girls do. You're all I need to give I, I, I could go on. I Can you see this? I highlighted like half the book. Can you see, can you see what I'm talking about? Half the, half the book. Um, but all of the things that were touched on, I mean, the economic disparities, the way in which black women are chastised for the way that we create families, or the option of starting a family and potentially putting your future in danger, or not starting one and then never being able to start one. My personal favorite, because it hit right here, was Dr. Cooper talking about crunk hip hop as praise music, as spiritual music. Because, can I please tell you how many days a week how many times a day that I listen to Motivation by T.I. because a bitch is going through it. What am I doing with my life? I honestly haven't been this excited about a book since I read Fifth Season. So I really just like really stop what you're doing. I don't know how much the book costs now, but give Dr. Cooper her coin and go buy the book. If you want to check it out and give it back after a little bit, there's a link below for that. Or if you want to buy it, there's a link below for that as well. Either way, you better F and read.